Okay, here we are with another fresh gameplay. This is fresh in, I believe, the mid lane. Yeah, mid lane versus Diana. This was a, just a normal draft pick. But I felt I haven't done a video in quite a while, so I have to get something up. <laughs> in fact, I haven't even played League properly in quite a while, to be honest. So this is one of my only games after so long. In fact, um, I hadn't been able to play through most of patch 6.9, despite all the cool mage updates and um, new Rage Blade, which I wanted to try out. And this is my first game with Fresh, which is going to try out the Rage Blade. I had a few games before this, just to get used to Fresh again, in case, you know, I'd forgotten my skill over the time I hadn't been playing. I'll make a video to talk about why I haven't been playing the future of this channel and all that later. So, um, let's focus on the game. Here we have um, the enemies that were apparently going to invade here, so we decided that we were going to steal this here. We got Jungle Rumble, Top Jace, Mid Fresh, um, Bottom Ezreal, and Support Lux. I was just going to come here and put a ward here just in case anyone was going to sneak up or anything like that. Um, so there's good old Dr. Heatsink on Jungle Rumble again. Now, I never really talk about the methods here, but... What do we know about Diana? She's melee, and her only range attack is that little crescent thing. So I can happily attack her and harass her from range as much as I like, so long as the crescent moon is on cooldown. So the camera off there. If I dodge to the right, then I can dodge the crescent, as in to Fresh's right. So <laughs> the camera's left. So that was a weird way to put it. Um, obviously, not always working. Sometimes you can take a bit of poke. There I do auto attack, E auto attack for a quick little harass trade thing. It's not really a trade because she didn't hit me. But most of this game I am... One of my biggest priorities this game was just farming and getting souls. I had already planned the build beforehand. I was going to take on hit effects like Blade of Rune King, Runan's Hurricane and Greensu's Rage Blade which would double those effects. Just like Sated Devourer did before. Now. Sated Developer Refresh is not a thing, obviously, because you can't clear the jungle fast enough. Um, but since Rage Blade is available easily to laners, I thought we might as well give it a try. Is this going to be better than Rapid Fire Cannon? Probably not. Could have some place. Since it's got more of a focus on consistent DPS, it can, it can work. In some situations. Um... I justified it because most of our team is very burst oriented. The only ones who are sustained are really Rumble and I guess Jace. Uh, and since most Ezreals go, you know, Iceborne and Gauntlet now, they aren't particularly sustained in da damage. So I thought I'd bring a little bit of sustained damage so I can just kind of grind the enemy's HP down with that Blade of the Rune King and on hit effects. So. Laning phase continues like this for quite a while. We get Trundle running down, and not much actually happens here. We have a couple of little harasses with him. Oh, sorry, with her, Diana. Uh, beyond that, nothing really happens. I call the SS, Diana. I'm not sure if she gets a kill here. Let's see if she does. Nope, she does not. So they waste time, and I'm just farming here. I think... How much gold do I have right now? I have... Yeah, a thousand. I was thinking about backing here, but I wanted... Well, I... I was thinking that I wanted a BF sword, because that's what I normally get. But, truthfully, I'm going to be going for Blade of the Ruin King. So, I want to get my early AD from Long Swords instead of BF Sword. And I'll sit on a Long Swords whilst I go straight to my Rune as Hurricane, so I can clear wave faster. Um, and start farming souls much faster. Once I get Runans, it's so much easier to clear the jungle as well, which means more souls. For anyone unaware, you have a chance to drop a soul on any minion, or on any small minion or monster, and every time you don't get a soul, the chance for that increases, and every time you do get a soul, the chance decreases. Now with big minions like siege minions, or the big jungle monsters like the ravens, the big wolf, you know, grump, they have a 100% chance to drop a soul. This is why farming the jungle can be pretty good, but obviously early game, Fresh's jungle clearing is pretty damn horrendous. So that's why we don't go um, jungle fresh and farm all day. 
So, ideally, once I get a bit more attack speed and all that stuff... Oh, hang on, fight here. I'm just going to drop that lantern over to him, because there's three of them and two of us. We could not win that fight. Anyway, as I was saying... <coughs> Excuse me. Ideally, once we get some attack speed, some AoE from Runans, some AD... I'm probably going to want, start wanting to take these uh, ravens much more often. Anyway, I don't go in here. I could have went in there. She had no mana. And I had mana. I could have killed her right then. Excuse me, we have a bit of a frame rate drop. Well, I'm just going to sort out this frame rate drop, so uh, be back in just a second. Okay, FPS should be a bit smoother now. There we go. <clears throat> so, looking back at the game, let's see how we're doing. We are two kills up. Kills have gone to Lux and Ezreal, respectively. That's really good. So, bot lane's doing really good. And, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Also, gold, you've got 2,500 gold over the enemy. The farming battle. It's a, it's a one game, isn't it? Well, we don't know that. Anyone can throw in at any moment, so don't always write a game off. Now, um, I uh, am going to die here because Rumble um, gets into a fight here, but he gets really greedy for the red. And I didn't have like, my lantern on cooldown because I'm an idiot. And well, I die for Rumble, which was actually a good thing because he has a kill and I don't. So. They would have gained more if they killed Rumble, and if I uh, die, then they get less gold because I have no bounty. Sure, I could have farmed this, but, you know. That's me justifying something kind of almost so minuscule it doesn't really make a difference. It's just one kill versus no kills. But, in any case, I guess it was somewhat justified. I'm just going to teleport back into lane and keep farming the Mr. Siege minion, aren't I brilliant? I'm not. So, what's my. Well, I'm sorry, I have. As I said, I have two long swords and a recurve bow. I took the long swords for the early game AD to fit with Fresh's E. That gives me a little bit of poke in lane, and recurve bow just builds into my Renan's Hurricane, which I want really early. Varus ults me here, which stops me from closing in on Janna. Meaning I try to get that hook right here, but Janna uses her flash. In the end, I'm happy with her Janna flash, so I go to mid lane. But Rumble's going to kill Diana anyway. So, there we go. Now what we're going to do, we're not just going to recall because she's dead. We're not going to go farm a jungle camp. We're going to take this turret. So we're just going to sit there hammering on that. He's got red buff, it burns the turret. We can take this turret down. We get that team gold. Look at the gold advantage. We are 4,000 gold up. It's not just a case of, wow, this was a stomp game, therefore it was luck. Um, no, because we are playing to win. We are playing and we're making the stomp happen. It's not just we're being carried or anything like that. We are genuinely, and there is the fail minion wave coming in that I didn't see. Um, let's pretend that didn't happen. So um, I think I wait around here because I think that you know, they might, um... I thought Janna might come and ward this, because you can see the little uh, ward decay thing here. You can see there's no wards from the enemy. What I didn't see was those two coming in as I recalled. I was in the shop. Um, and then they're going to go bot lane, and I'm not sure what happens yet. I think they might get a kill on Ezreal. Might do. Does he? Does he have any? No, he? He's dead. Looks, flashes, unnecessarily. But yeah, that's that. Rumble pushes mid lane whilst I is bot lane. And I'm just resting with no souls. Anyway, I've upgraded to a vamp scepter because I felt I had some spare money and might as well. Now the enemies are taking this drake and I tried to steal it but I'm too late. What I am able to get is kill... I am able to kill Trundle. Which is... it's okay. I now have, I'm now 1-1 one, one with 79 CS. Which isn't particularly awesome but it works. I get bored, do a jungle camp, get me a soul, whilst I wait for the lane and come back. So, the enemy lane starts pushing, that's a nice amount of souls and CS. Which I, I miss, I suck. 
Don't let them um, do as I say, not as I do. I'm not that good a player, honestly. I just know a lot. Anyway, Trinum is up top and Jace is down bot, so I have to cover for him. Now they do a scary thing here where they both try to dive me. So I just flay them away, kite them, keep myself alive, focus on that. I'm just going to farm the minions here whilst it's safe. But when the their minion wave comes back, they are going to try to dive me. I don't have any mana to defend myself, so I go back, I have teleport, and I can go back and save the turret because Jace is still bot. Now, um, one thing I forgot to mention is if you look at my summoner spells, I actually have exhaust and teleport. <laughs> that's that's what I'd run on Cassidy in because I think the his rift walk is more than enough mobility for me. I don't need flash, but I forgot to change it back to flash, and now I'm a fresh without flash. I still I'm still able to do pretty decent. So I flash in. I'm able to save the turret, and I just push forward here. Okay, I don't push, I just take over this lane while Jace isn't here. Diana's still screwing around as well. Now, Trinomy gets way too aggressive, so there we go. He takes a turret hit and a dying rage ends just as the turret hit hits him. He way too aggressive and seems to think he could duel me, but I have a longsword, ramp scepter, cull, and Renan's hurricane. So that's decent lifesteal, decent on hit lifesteal, and Renan's hurricane attack speed. Plus, I'm just bigger than him. Way bigger than him. He has 38 CS! What? I feel like my MMR has dropped, like, incredibly low somehow. But hopefully, um, this can teach some of you guys who might be in lower levels how to close out a game, I guess. <laughs> Please don't discredit this game. <laughs> oh well. I'm still playing decently well. I'm not playing the best, but I'm still playing decently well, so there will always be something to learn. If you're Platinum or something, and you're going to despise me for that, then why the hell are you watching this video? Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Shade aside. The rest of the game plays out kind of smoothly, but it will drag on a little bit. We've got another fight here. Bot lane just gets demolished. I gap close using that, and Janna gets away because she's Janna. She has tons of move speed. So we focus on the turret, completely ignore Diana. Get that CS, get those souls, and then we're going to go up somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm going. I'm just going to take all this CS. Now I get cocky here. I see Trundle, we kill Trundle, piece of piss. I see Diana back there, so I'm thinking, hang on, we're really ahead. Let's go. So I think, I still think Jace has moved me. I go on to that Varus who almost dies. But um, let's see if we turn chat on. Jace will admit in chat what happened. Chat's even working. Is chat work? I'm turning chat on, but it doesn't seem to be. No, the chat seems not to be working on this replay engine. Or whatever. Uh, I asked Jace why he didn't help, and he admitted that he was watching top lane instead. That can happen. There's no need to get angry about that, so I didn't. Anyway, game goes on. I'm still free to. Nothing wrong. It was just a mistake. These things happen in a realistic game of League of Legends. If you are Korean, maybe not. But even then, that'll still happen. Um, next fight. We go down bot lane because a lot of things seem to be happening here. Then we decide we want the dragon. So Rumble pulls it out and we just deal with that there. Things get a little heated again and Trinamo, for some reason, rushes in. He's not 50 whips again. Now I have a weird vision kerfuffle with Diana here, and I just kind of do nothing. Then we end up taking those guys out, Janna dies for Diana, but we'll end up catching up to Diana and killing her anyway. After that we get to push down mid, and do we get a turret? I don't think so. What will happen is that I'll fail again, this was not my best game. I will admit that, I start failing pretty damn hard. To be honest, I should have recorded the other game, which went a lot smoother. But I wanted to let you guys see what happens with the raid raid. Which is honestly isn't that much. I just wanted at least you'll be able to see that it's not bad, I guess, if that makes any sense. So what have I got now? Let's look at the items. I've got Blade of the Rune King and Runan's Hurricane. I got Runan's first and I got Blade of the Rune King. So we have the 
Fresh is ranged, so Runan's works. Blade Rune King will apply on hit through the Runan's bolts. And that is pretty good AoE. I've got Spectre's Carol because on their team they have a fed Diana. They also have a fed Varus, but I get armor for, um, armor for souls anyway. That's why I prioritize magic resistance. Uh, um, by that I mean like typically my defensive items early game will be a giant spell and a specter's cowl which gives me health and magic resistance the reason it's okay to just get health and I don't quite need armor unless there is a particularly fed AD carry is because fresh will get enough souls to make up for that unfortunately whenever I see people playing fresh especially as support they won't gather nearly as many souls as they should Personally, I have 96 at 24 minutes, and I think this is below my average, but it's been a while, so give me a break. Anyway, Varus tries to 1v1 me, and it doesn't work out, because he seems to be way too used to support fresh. Uh, Rumble bitch slaps Janna there, and she dies, despite the exhaust. So we just, um, what do we do now? I'm wondering very aimlessly. I don't quite know what I'm doing. Was I in a Skype call at this point in time? I'm not entirely sure. I was... I'm derping anyway. I do recall I didn't have music playing in this game and if I play without music I'm a fool. I do really stupid things and I don't concentrate. Anyway, we um... push him. Me and Ezreal. Uh, Alice uses his ult, doesn't really achieve much. Excuse my yawn. A little tired. So, we push down the lane. Varus gets to shut down on Varus. I'm able to get that hook on Janna. You didn't see that, so let's um, not fast forward so aggressively. Now let's look at that. We can see Janna. She seems to not know where she's going, and then she gets hooks down there as your ease and breasts her down. Nice and simple. Again, I'm really... I don't know what is wrong with me this game. I'd be way too aggressive. And Oh, I didn't die here. Well, I'll die later. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm, I do a lot of derping. I go off alone, and... Hopefully you can do as I say and not as I do, and I say to not do what I do because I'm terrible, especially this game. I'll whip up that crab because is dragon this morning soon? Dragon is live, actually. So that crab will just get us some dragon control. Gets me a soul as well. I can test over that. I wait around, grab the souls. Now I see Janna and I see Diana. So I want to be in the midst of everything. I hit that Blade Boom King active on. Fundal, he fucks off, we get Varus, who doesn't know the meaning of the word positioning. And then, on low health, I escape and get back. That lets me get my recurve bow and pickaxe. That is the new build recipe for um, Green Toe's Rage Blade. Fun fact about Rage Blade is that though it does use attack speed, so it has attack speed in the build from recurve bow, you will actually lose that attack speed once you finish the item. So you'll have, how much is it, 20%? 25% from recurve bow. Then we'll downgrade to 0% when you get rage blade. When you stack up the rage blade six times, you'll get 48%, which is quite nice. I stop Diana from interfering blocks, and then I'm a fool. I mean, let me justify my idiocy here. <laughs> okay, I see Rumble here taking blue. I only saw him on the minimap, didn't see much else. So I think it's a safe zone. I'm not concentrating. And then I go to the right thinking it's safe, thinking Rumble's there, thinking, oh yeah, let's fight them. Oh, Rumble's not here. Oh, I'm dead. Map awareness. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> this is probably my derpiest commentary ever. If you have not seen the channel before, then I promise you I am a good league player sometimes. <laughs> oh, it's a fun game at the end of the day. Anyway, fast forwarding a little more, we see some uh, derping there. I go through top lane, I get some jungle camps, get some more souls, and we have a fight here. Rumble drops an ultimate on Trundle and Diana. We push forward a little. I think, what do I do? I could have gotten red buff, I should have gotten red buff. This. Oh. Oh. I'm really sorry for these yawns. And then I was pushed that lane up. Now we're testing bottom lane a little bit. Jace gets red buff. I really should have taken it from him. I have Runa's Hurricane. 
Sure, I have a bigger tendency to die. He has two deaths, I have four. But, you know, rage, red buff with um, Rune and Hurricane is pretty good. Even with Rage Blade is pretty good. I think. I'm not quite sure how that applies, but whatever. So anyway, I'm a, I be a derp again. I push forward in mid lane. And I start attacking the turret. Completely don't notice anyone here. I miss the hook. I get slowed by Lux. I get slowed by Varus. Then I'll get slowed by everything else. I'll get bursted and I'll die. Die to a flash Varus auto attack. I'm 4-5. I don't actually feel too good about this game, but my team was relatively positive. In the end, we are still 30-18, and my Ezreal and Jace are doing very good. Rumble's doing very good. Lux is doing good as a support. Am I the dead weight? Yes, more than likely, but I don't lose hope here. My team doesn't lose hope in me either. So if there's anything to learn, learn from this team who are happily carrying forward and not worrying about a thing even though they're fresh. He's dying a little more than he needs to. Um, I'm sure that some people are looking at this like 4-5 is okay. Personally, I don't think it is. I have decently high standards. I'm just not... Um, I'm not measuring up to them at all this game. Oh, God. Alright, fast forward a bit. It will last for about another 10 minutes. I've, we seem to be around Baron Pit. And we get another fight. Varus kills Lux. Rumble drops the ult. We start um, killing people. Thing is, this is me playing without Rapid Fire Cannon, and I've been used to that item for so long, it just feels strange to not have that extra range. <laughs> Poet and didn't know it. Anyway, we push mid again. I only push a little bit before we he start heading towards Baron. Trundle appears, so I beat the hell out of him. He flashes over. Um, Janna appears. Varus appears. We kill Varus easily with the box. Okay, he isn't dead. My bad. I missed that. Ezreal's able to snipe him. Uh, snipe her off. Varus gets away. Again, we push the tower. I derp a little bit. Take some tower damage. And we start pushing this. I hook her. Doesn't really do anything. And he takes a full ludent hit. Now, we look at Elder Dragon, but we can't quite take it because it's huge. I'm not quite used to these new dragons, and I thought, wow, it's just a dragon. But that thing has so much health. I'm just going to restate that this is one of my first few games in patch 6.10. Haven't really played in 6.9 either because I've been off for a while. As I said, there will be another video to detail about that. I'll probably release that one before this one even, so just look on the channel, go find it. If you're interested in the channel anyway, I'm not going to force you to invest in me. But if you could, that would be great. Anyway, we're contesting Elder Dragon, we're around that area, and now we get into a fight here. Rumble dies, I see that, and then, oh, I go in, and the team isn't with me. Because this is my fault because I'm not looking. Ezreal is doing some work, but... Not all that much. They start beating Trundle up, and they kill him. So that's a one team fight. It's all good. Even though I died like a derp, it's still a good team fight. Now, you can say I'm 4-6, I'm doing terrible, but I'm 4-6-11 in actuality. I've contributed. Don't be negative, guys. Even, like, when it's yourself or an ally, don't be negative. That's not going to do anything. Not do anything good for you, anyway. What it will do is give someone a bad day, give you a worse day, and lose you some elo. So I'm derping, I'm derping, what am I doing here? Do I get a Skype call? I think I got a Skype call. <laughs> I'm not a Skype call in League, a Skype call with um, my girlfriends. That's my lack of focus. Ah, well, I love her. <clears throat> so, Let's skip forward to whatever happens next. The enemy's pushing down mid. We come down on mid. We are grouped. Watch this, please. I beg you. Watch how we are grouped. Not enough people are doing that, I swear. Anyway, notice the um, Banshee's Veils we all got. Not only is Banshee's Veil just a good magic resistance, uh, magic resistance item, but it will help us block some of that Diana burst since she's fed. Important tech item. So we start pushing here. We see things. I time the queue for Hazonias. We kill Diana. We're able to push forward a bit. But since we don't get anything, we start thinking about Elder Dragon. Because what can they do to contest it whilst Diana's dead? Diana's won their MVP. We kill the Elder Dragon. It's just like a normal dragon, really, if you're... But it's a normal dragon that you need five people to kill. 
it gives you tons of buffs, which I don't even know. I think it gives you an on hit burn and helps your other dragon buffs or something like that. So we um, push Trundle away. We think about that Baron. And in the end, we get into a bit of a kerfuffle here. We'll get the crab though, and then we're going to recall because the enemies are everywhere. And. Anyway, we're going to push mid. We've got that Elder Turret. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Elder Turret? Elder Dragon. Oh, never mind. We're going for the Baron and we'll go just like that. Oh, oh, oh. Trundle, the jungler goes in and then we can see that dragon. Look, look at it. 23 health and I'm just able to save it just there because I think he missed smite. Thank God I was able to hit that. Because I don't think Rumble was uh, close enough to get the smite. He should have been, but he wasn't, so I was able to save it. That was a combination of pure luck and simple realization that Baron is on low HP and we want that Baron. So from here, it's pretty um, easy going. We push that. And we have to. We push bot. We just pressure that map. Do I die? I hope not. No, but we'll take a turret and we'll take another inhibitor. Fortunately, can't push more than that, so we're going to go back. And for now, we will recall. Let's look at my full build here. So we got Rage Blade, Blade Rune King, Randu Wind's Omen, Renan's Hurricane, Banshee's Veil, Sorcerer's Shoes. So we got three offensive items, two defensive items, and one offensive boots. So the synergy here is Renan's Hurricane applies on his effects. Rage Blade has non his effects, will boost your stats, and will double your on it effects and we have Blade Rune King and Fresh's Soul Hit Passive as on hit effects. How many souls do we have? We have 191 souls, so that is 191 magic damage on hit, doubled on every other attack by Rage Blade and tripled by Runo's Hurricane hitting two other targets. Now one thing I've only just noticed is, I think this only happened after the Baron fight, but you can see, excuse the Janna tornado sounds. Uh, Varus has given up hope and bought six tier of the goddesses. <sighs> and he was doing quite alright. I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure Varus was flaming. Oh, he sold them back. Uh, is he gonna buy his normal items again? I think Varus is okay. I'm not sure what Varus is doing actually. Yeah, Varus has no items. So, anyway, that's it. We close the game. We push this turret now, we've got Elder Dragon, we've got Baron, and we can win the special in that zero item powers. That's the game. Now we just. Yeah. Haven't played in so long. Didn't even do that good, but. Hey! We won! It's pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm aware we're approaching 400 subscribers, which is crazy. I was going to celebrate 100 subscribers on this new channel, but oh my god. Seriously, thank you so much for watching. Thank you if you're, especially thank you if you're a subscriber. Thank you if you're just a viewer. I really appreciate every single bit of attention that my poor microphone and <laughs> stuttering speech can get. <laughs> wow. Really. Thank you. If you're not subscribed, feel free to do so. If you like my content, if you like these commentaries, if you like the guides that I put out. I like off meta. I main AD Fresh Top with Rapid Fire Cannon most of the time. I main Cassid in as an AD. <laughs> that sounds strange the first time you hear it. But I main those two and play them in ranked. And I will be starting ranked again soon once I get more time. So, really... Thank you so much for watching, and every view means more than you know. Every nice comment means more than you know. Even every bad comment means more than you know. Thank you for watching. I've said that about seven times now, so I send the video here. Thanks. I'll see you in the next one.